Teaching stop the flush. Okay? And I'm gonna be doing it with Murph. I don't wanna go too far from Murph's kennel and I honestly don't care if he can see it or not, see me planting it here, because I'm teaching him stop the flush. I'm teaching him that when this bird goes up he needs to stop and I will take him around the kennel in this way we all have wind for it so he won't set point it I'm gonna pop the bird and I'm gonna make him stand there and I'm gonna take him back I'm gonna do it a couple times tonight this is what we call the shut up Rocco this is what we call the show puck stage sticky here, okay? I want him to get a bit sticky. And if you don't understand what that means, sticky means I want him to know there's a bird here. I want him to come in if he does slow. Hell, he might even point the damn thing before I flush it. That's okay. I want him to be successful. And also remember, I'm just showing him what I want right now. I'm not reinforcing a damn thing. I'm just showing him what we want.
can't get that out of your system, Chewbacca. Look, the gears are up. He's anticipating a bird. Another thing. I'm not using the word whoa. Yep, yep. Just use a little tugs to get him to stop. Okay. I'm going to release him. I'm going to take him back. Boy. Boy. Good boy, Murph. Good, good boy. You're a good boy. Yeah, you're a good boy. Good boy. Ah. And if you notice on the second time, he was anticipating a bird, but he didn't stop on his own. But his ears were kind of back because he's kind of curious, right? He's trying to figure out in his head, all right, I know there's a bird there, um, but the guy made me stop last time, and I haven't had to stop before. But yet I kind of want to make him happy, so I'm trying to figure out what this dude wants. And then he could still kind of wanted to rush him. That's okay because I was gentle with him, right? Gentle, showing the pup what I want. 